Beitza, Perik Aleph, Mishnah Bet. As we said, the Mesechet Beitza deals with preparing food on Yom Tov. So in today, with era, the era of modern refrigeration, all of our, our proteins are already prepared. And even, everything is ready beforehand. And, and whatever we need, even if we're going to cook on Yom Tov, we would have all the raw materials if necessary. But in the times of the Mishnah, until relatively historically recently, uh, if you wanted to have meat on Yom Tov, you had to do shchita on Yom Tov, shochet, which was totally permitted. They were, they were allowed to do shchita in order to permit people to have fresh meat, because that's part of Simchat Yom Tov. The problem is as follows. What happens if you have a chaya or an of? Because the Torah says that part of the mitzvah, if you have a chaya and of, is you have to do what's called kisui hadam, the covering of the blood. Let's look at the pasuk for a second. This is in Perak Vayikra, Perak Yud Zayin, pasuk Yud Gimel. If you trap a chaya, a chaya is a certain type of animal that's a kosher animal, like a deer or whatever, or a bird, you spill its blood, you kill it. Okay, when you shecht it, you have to cover the blood with dirt. This is kisu hadam. Every time they shecht chickens in the factory, they do kisu hadam. Every hour they do it, or what have you. That's a mitzvah de oraita that you have to do when you shecht. So shechting, ironically, is fine. It's not a problem, even though it's a malacha, but it's a malacha, it's mutar for l'tzorach ochel nefesh. Now we learned in before, you know, in the previous mission, it's malachet ochel nefesh. But what about the kisui hadam? Because the covering of the blood involves digging. i got to dig out the dirt in order to allow me, myself to do kisui hadam. But I've already done the ochel nefesh. I've already done the food part. So am I then permitted to do even though it's a mitzvah, maybe I'm not allowed to do uh, do shechita because then I have to do digging, which is invo- involves chofer. Hafir as in isur diorayta says the Mishnah. Shochet chaya vaof beyom tov. If I shecht a chaya or an of or a bird on yom tov, beit shamai omim beit shamai says yachfor bedeker v'yichase. He should dig bedeker is a hoe. Okay, he should dig with a hoe and cover. Says, no, lo yishchot, hayalo afar okay? You should not shech lechatchila unless you had afar ready mi Okay, so uh, in, at face value, Beit Shammai seems to say lechatchila you can shech and then just dig. And Beit says you should not shech lechatchila unless you, has, unless you have a dirt ready. So the Bartunu is going to tell us what the Gemara says. The Bartunu says, Beit Shammai omrim, so Beit Shammai says, according to the Gemara, you're just certainly not allowed to start digging. But if you have a deker na'utz, you have this hoe, that na'utz, you stuck it in the ground, meaning, so like I have a hoe and I dug it in the ground, and then she akor oto mimakom ne'itato, then I just pick it up. And then that picks up dirt. So I'm not doing the act of digging, I'm taking it out, and toch kadeh, and as I take it out of the dirt, then, then I, I, some dirt comes up. Umayri, and it's also talking about, kishu na'utz ba'afar tichoach hara'ui l'kisui. It's also talking about a case where it's in a certain kind of dirt, very loose dirt. She'ino mechusa kitisha. That's not mechusa kitisha. That's not uncrushed. You don't have to do kitisha crushing, which is a problem of tochen. So we have a problem of chofer, we have a problem of tochen, and Beit Shammai seems to be more mekel. And says, as long as the, the hoe is ready from before, you're okay. And Beitila says, no, you're only okay if I've got dirt that's un, that's, that doesn't need to be dug. Take sand, and I have sand ready on the side. But if I don't have sand ready on the side, then lo yishchot, that you should not do shechita, lechachila. Okay, and the Mishnah says, umodim, but they agree. She'im shachat, but if you did it now, you already did it. You didn't ask. You didn't prepare. Then she'achfor bedeker v'yichaset. Then you should dig bedeker, Okay, v'yichaset, and you should cover she'efer kira muchanhu, because the dirt of the kira of the of the oven is muchanhu is ready. We're going to see that's not that we have, that's not connected at all. Okay, the Bartudor is going to explain the Gemara reinterprets that reinterprets that say, sign, that phrase. But nonetheless, modim she'im shachart. If you did shrita and you had this thing ready, she'achfor bedeker v'yichaset. Now the question would be, of course. What about according to Beit Hillel, if you didn't have the decker ready? It seems that if you didn't have the decker ready at all, according to Kamar, what happens if you didn't do anything but then you shecht it? It would seem according to Beit Hillel, if I didn't have, if, according to Beit Hillel, if I didn't have the hoe in the dirt from before and I did shechita, then you probably would have to wait and do kisui hadam afterwards. Uh, but that's a halacha question and a Gemara question. You could look it up on your own. 
What about this phrase, she'efer kira muchanhu? Because the dirt of a kira, of the oven, meaning the, 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 it's not the coals, it's the ashes of an oven is muchanhu. What in the world is that connected to? Bartonura says, lab amiltai debeit shabai betilokai. It's not, it's not, not connected to what we just learned. Ela milta ba'ampei nafshahu. It's an, it's its own separate phrase. Ve'hachik amar. And this is what the Gemara mission is saying. Ve'efer kira muchanhu. And efer kira is muchan. You don't have to do asmana or have intention to use the dirt in the, 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 the ashes. Well, you can use ashes. I've got ashes in the oven. I don't have to go get dirt ready. That's okay. I don't have to, if I don't have, if I have ashes in the oven, then I guess the bishop is giving you a good idea. You want a shecht and you didn't prepare the dirt? Everybody's got an oven. But that's only if you burn stuff from Yom Tov. Right? If you burn stuff from before. But if I, if I, if I'm using ashes that were created from a fire of Yom Tov, then I can't do that. Why? Because those ashes didn't exist yesterday. I just lit the fire today in order to cook my coffee. Now I have ashes. Now you can't use those because they're muktzah. They're not, they're not hu muchan me rosh. But, interestingly, the imra uilit slopa beitza. What if they're still hot? Then, adain remetzcham. It's still hot coals. Even though I burned it today, I can use kisui. Since I can use it in order to, to, to fry an egg, I can take it and use it for kisui adam. So the mission is offering you a number of different options. Okay, If you have your hoe ready, that's great. If you prepared your sand for it, that's great. If you didn't, didn't you have nothing, can I shecht? Yeah, you could shecht, because let's say you have ashes in the oven. And let's say the ashes, you didn't have ashes in the oven. They cleaned it out from yesterday. And now you're just using the oven still hot. I can use those ashes. All of these, of course, are not relevant to us halachically because we cook on ovens and we have refrigeration. But it's still nonetheless interesting. We'll stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Meizra Kalman. Have a good day.